guys, so we're going to talk some more about polygons. And polygons are 2D shapes because they're flat. And we're going to try to remember all the names of all these polygons. So the first one is super easy. We count, the first thing you need to do when you see a polygon is count the number of sides. And we know a polygon has to have straight lines and it has to be closed. So I'm going to write that over here just for a quick jog of our memory. Polygon, straight lines, closed. Okay, so we have a triangle. So I'm going to count my sides. One, two, three. So I have three sides. Do you remember like a tricycle? Triangle. That should be pretty easy for you to remember. You've learned that since you were like two or three. I think like a tricycle has three wheels. Okay, this one, count the sides. One, two, three, four. Do you remember Mrs. Smith starts to sing? Quadrilateral has four sides, has four sides. Quadrilateral has four sides, has four sides. And if you remember, Mrs. Smith told you that there, let me make sure I spelled that right, that we're going to be learning lots of different names for quadrilaterals, but that's another lesson for another day. Then let's go down to the next one. We count one, two, three, four, five. Remember, looks like a tent. That means it rhymes with pent. That's how we remember the name pentagon. Okay, let's go down to the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. I know the number six has an X in it. So that makes me think of hexagon because hexagon has an X in. Count the number of sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if you remember in the last video, I said, it doesn't always have to look like the shape that you're used to it looking like. Like a hexagon doesn't always look like this. It could look funky like this, but as long as it has six sides, it's still a hexagon. It doesn't have to look exactly like you're used to seeing it. So this has seven sides. I really don't have anything to help you remember this because you don't have to know this one in third grade, but I like to introduce it. Just maybe it sticks in your brain. Just throw it back in there. Maybe you'll remember it for fourth or fifth grade. But a seven sided figure is a heptagon. Okay, seven sides, heptagon. I don't have anything really clever for that one. All right, let's count the number of sides on this figure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight sides. What animal has eight legs? You said an octopus, you're right. So an eight-sided figure is called an octagon. Now, remember what I said up here. This doesn't look like the normal octagon, like the stop sign that you're used to seeing, but it has eight sides, so it has to be an octagon. It doesn't have to look like the normal shape. That's what I want you to try to remember. Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine sides. This is another one you don't have to know in third grade, but I like to introduce it to you. Nine, this one's easier to remember because it has two ends just like a nine has two ends. And so it is a nonagon. And then the last one, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten sides. How many years are in a decade? You said ten years are in a decade. You are right. So a ten-sided figure is a decagon. Okay, that was a quick review of our polygons. Okay, remember polygons have straight lines and they are closed. Here's all the different names for our polygons. I have a video from Mrs. Belashik because Mrs. Smith just could not figure that song out to maybe try to help you remember the names of the polygons if you're having trouble and you don't remember Mrs. Smith's clue words. So you have a special video from Mrs. Belashik to try to get you to help you remember them and then you have an activity, you are going to try to name the different polygons on your Google document. All right, guys, have fun. Good luck.